All right, if you're Brainerd wants to know whether it be a wolf season hunting and trapping this fall, I don't know anything about the wolf season hunting and trapping or otherwise. I'm going to look to you, <laughs> Representative Gruenhagen. What can you tell us about the wolf season? Well, we don't have wolves in my district, but I do know some of the northern reps who have when we uh, passed a wolf season who actually uh, did do some wolf hunting. Uh, I voted for it. I think that uh, from the, and again, I, the uh, information I have is secondhand from representatives that live up in that area, and they've decimated our, according to these reps, and some people will have an alternative uh, uh, perspective, but according to these reps, they've decimated our moose population. Uh, they're a, uh, the wolves have populated to the point where they're endangering uh, livestock for farmers, and uh, it's getting to be a real problem. I know there's some laws in place that if you lose a, uh, one of your livestock to a wolf kill, the state will reimburse you. However, when the wolf eats everything that's there, it's hard to prove the evidence, okay? So I do think we should have a uh, wolf season. I know it was uh, blocked by a federal judge, mm -hmm. and I don't know what the status of that is right now, if we're able to return to that, but I would definitely support a, uh, a season for uh, reducing the number of wolves in the state of Minnesota. Any uh, comment on the wolf season? Well, I, I would only add that, I, that the wolf thing is not as simple as it might appear. There is an incredible amount of animal behavior issues that really do have to be understood at a much higher level than the issue of, oh, this is a nuisance and we need to be able, allowed to hunt them and get rid of them. Um, there, there are great and important things to be known. Um, there's very strong diversity as to whether um, things that are right now said are really truthful or not. This is a, this is a study of a, a pack animal that is completely different in its structure and the way that it functions and um, than what we would all assume. And so it, I think that there is room here that there needs to be great care and I really would be cautious about just wholesale sailing, saying that there should be a hunting season because we're losing animals. I think that the loss of an animal happened in my family where we lost animals. Um, it's a horrible financial burden on the, on the farm that, to lose those animals. But I don't know that setting state policy about a hunting season should be gauged around the idea that, that some animals are being taken. So. Any thoughts on the wolf season? Probably not an issue in your district, I'm guessing. Well, it, it, you are not going to believe how much uh, my district is engaged in this. I'm completely, of course, opposed mm -hmm. to the hunting of, of the wolf. And uh, obviously uh, following some of the lead of Native people who mm -hmm. really are opposed to this. So I am very much in, uh, in agreement that we really need to look at. Uh, precisely what the representative was saying, I think that uh, clearly we need to hear, you know, what farmers need to, to say. But I think there is a, a, an issue about how do we handle the ecosystem that exists mm -hmm. and how we as legislators uh, need to be educated about how the, the function of, of predators. And mm -hmm. I think that we, uh, we need to listen and we need to really look at not just as, at the present but at the future because I think part of, of what we need to to deal with is in the farming community, of course, about uh, you know protecting the farmers, but also as we uh, expand construction and as we expand uh, really the uh, you know our cities and our urban and suburban communities, how we need to deal with um, with nature and and protecting um, really our ecosystems is incredibly important. So I am. I'm kind of more open to that conversation and, and hear how, we, you know, we, hit, we have to balance that and not go in such a direction that we, we do the opposite of what we're, we're supposed to accomplish as legislators. Uh, but there is no, uh, at this point, I think uh, you were indicating, Representative, that it's tied up in federal court and that's kind of where it sits at the moment. Is mm -hmm. that where we're at? As far I, as I know. I think there might be a bill that's starting to float around that would try to um, speak to what type of um, participation hunters might have with the wolf. Because I think that um, there is great concern, as, as um, the senator relayed, as to our um, wise, balanced treatment of the environment, particularly something that's a raw environmental 
um, animal like the wolf. They, they are very much not like white, uh, white-tailed deer or other kinds of, of um, animals that have completely different um, reproduction and, and uh, group mentality. Where, where wolves are very, very different, and I, I really think the issue that's coming up, and I've seen a bill already that has some discussion about what should be done relative to wolves. Um, I think that there is great need for study to be done on it. And the re- go ahead, you were going to say something? Oh, I was just going to say, you know, I grew up on a dairy farm, like I said, with chickens and ducks. And when we had a varmint killing our chickens or our ducks, bang, we took care of it. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the, quit killing them. <laughs> so, so the, um, but the reality is there's not going to be any legislation nope. this no. year. And we got, anything. we got federal courts in the middle of this. So uh, to our viewer, I guess we have to say, not this year. Come back, check with us in February next year. Well, and see where that federal law is. Right. Federal ruling is. Uh, we also have a question on a related question. We'll just run through this very quickly. Uh, this viewer is concerned about uh, uh, dogs being killed in lethal body grip traps. Uh, this question came up a couple of weeks ago, and our panel at that time said um, it's a controversial issue, but there's no bill moving in this legislative session. Does that uh, remain the case? Uh, let's start with you, Representative. There was a discussion, I think it was on the floor this year, yeah. where um, the, uh, it was in the, in the area of management of traps is, is how that bill came up, that there was the certain kinds of traps that either could or could not be used, and how that would um, work into the whole trapping um, sportsmanship. And so I think that the, the bill has come up, it has surfaced, but I don't know how far it went. Senator, any thoughts on this? We won't spend a lot of time on it. Yes, well, I don't serve in the committees, and I has not come to the floor in the Senate. But I think, um, as I alluded earlier, I think in, in, my, in my district, really, the use of traps is something that is very concerning. Uh, mm-hmm. And people feel like, you know, if we just really don't have uh, some, some parameters for uh, protecting animals, um, you know, we have a problem if people are just kind of using uh, trapping uh, on their own kind of devices, uh, it's, it's, it's problematic. And so I, I, I don't think that anything is coming in the Senate as far as I'm concerned. I, I can tell that is a, a clear proposal on trapping. We have not mm-hmm. had the discussion in the floor. I don't know if we've had it in committee. Mm-hmm. Uh, Senator Westrom is here, but uh, you know, he might be able to tell us more about it. Senator Westrom, welcome. Do you want to talk about, about body grip traps? Is there anything going on there? We'll just introduce you and drop that topic right on you. So. All right. Uh, I think Senator Torres Ray uh, probably is right. I, I'm not aware of anything that's going to move yet this year. I know there's quite a bit of controversy uh, between the hunting and trapping groups and some of the other groups that are pushing for a lot of uh, regulation. And when we had the environment bill, I, there wasn't anything in there because of the controversy. So. At this point, I don't think there's uh, uh, an agreement that the parties have been able to work out. Representative Grunhagen, any thoughts? I would agree with those comments. I don't see anything moving this. And it has always been a bone of contention. Uh, You know, every session, it seems, something comes up. But uh, I don't think we'll see any type of resolution or any bills passed that address it this time. 